Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have spoilers, spoilers, spoilers for you guys. Top four and even a top three spoiler, which means a fantasy suite spoiler, of course. Gabby and Rachel season premieres July 11th, 2022. That's a short nine weeks away. And we, uh, you know, to say we scrape the barrel, I think we need a new term for barrel scraping Dave because this is this is more like when you reach into the couch cushions uh, for change and then you see some crumbs and you eat the crumbs. We are, <laughs> you, ever, you, you ever have one of those old couches? You move the cushion, there's a, a bill from the 20s. There's a, you know, a remote control to an Atari. So you know what I mean? If you know, you know. Anyway, that's what we're doing. We are... We are just dying for content. We really are. If you want non-Bachelor content, that's where I'm devoting most of my energy right now. It's over at the Dave Neal Show, uh, which, you know, I, I, I hate to uh, sort of sensationalize what is a tragic, tragic court case uh, of a, um, of a uh, you know, and uh, someone who's uh, abu abused drugs versus domestic violence accusations, all these things. Well, we've got uh, moments where Johnny Depp's laughing in court when he's being made fun of, you know, very bizarre things because we've got Amber Heard's side of the story. Uh, she's saying, oh, you didn't lose any money. You, you were a washed up actor anyway. And then uh, you've got his bodyguard saying she, you know, pooped on the pillows and threw the cell phone out the window. I mean, it's a wild stuff. If you're not following it, it's wild. It's, 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 it's international, baby. Anyway, so that's where I've got all the non-Bachelor content. In the meantime, we've got Reality Steve spoilers. Top four, Gabby and Rachel. Let's listen to his reel, and then we'll dissect it. And by the way, if you don't want spoilers, now's your chance to go away. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Mom? You don't like spoilers? Get out of the page. I think most people are okay. These aren't final spoils. These are top four. We're going to forget all these bros' names before it all comes down to it anyway. Nation, what's up? I've got your info on Rachel and Gabby's Final Four. Hey, Steve. So let's get going. All right, let's start with Rachel. You knew about Avon. You knew about Tyler because you saw videos and photos of those. The one you didn't know about was Zach Shawcross. That was last week, last Wednesday. Who are they? And then you knew about Tino Franco. I don't have any video or... Tino Franco sounds like a problem. Tino Franco sounds like the type of guy who yells his name after having sex in the fantasy suite. You know what I mean? Hey, Tino Franco! You know? I don't know. Maybe that's a generalization about Italians. I feel like Italians, like they're Italian. Hey, it's Giacobbe. You know me over here. You know, right, you know, whatever. Photo of Tino. Zach, there is video. You'll see it on my Tino Franco. Instagram post and my Instagram story. As for Gabby's Final Four, you knew about Eric Schwer. The two you didn't know about, Jason Alabaster was in New Orleans last uh, Tuesday. Johnny DiFilippo was in Florida. Hey, it's me, Johnny DiFilippo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just desecrating these days. It's me, Tino Franco, and my buddy, Johnny DiFilippo. You know, we, we start a pizza place together. Last Thursday, and the fourth one, I don't know about just yet. I'll explain that in the next slide. Basically, I have some circumstantial evidence that I believe it's Justin Bud Filosky that had the fourth hometown for Gabby, but I'm not 100% sure just yet. If and when I find out, I will certainly let you know. Justin Bud Filosky, bringing the Pollocks. As for overnights and final rose ceremony, they're in Mexico, just like Rachel's season. Talk to you soon. Boy, so they're going to Mexico, which, you know, by the way, I'll be going there for my wedding later this year where I'm posting all of the details about that. I'm hiring a film crew. Not like a, not like a docu-series film crew, but like, you know, like a couple people get some good coverage. Look, if I want to put on a beautiful dress, I want the coverage. Say yes to the dress. Actually, I'll be wearing a linen suit. Linen suit Dave, which by the way, so as far as the top four spoilers, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss this a little bit more, but I have to jump to uh, my Instagram story over here. It, uh, this is what you get when you're in a relationship. I went, you know, look, you know, barrel scraping Dave. I wore, you know, got back from Hawaii. I made content when I was in Hawaii the whole week. My voice is gone. People are leaving messages like, Dave, do you have allergies? Are you okay? I'm a human. Some days my voice doesn't sound good. All right. You know what I mean? Uh, Dave, do you have COVID? Or what are you doing? Do you, are you taking Metamucil? <laughs> like, okay. If you guys only knew the amount of doctors and pharmacologists that I have in my DMs, it'd blow your mind. It's like, no, I live off of coffee and hope. Okay. <laughs> Just like the rest of you guys. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So I'm out there doing, I'm doing the Lord's work. I'm doing a show late night, uh, which by the way, went really well. Um, and I come home now yesterday I had pizza, uh, given to me by the great Susan, uh, from the Pacific Northwest. She likes to send me pizza, which by the way, I appreciate 
too much. It's the only gift that actually stays on the body. Uh, or herpes too. <laughs> that's not a, that's one that comes back. The belly stays. The belly's not, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, wouldn't that be funny if the belly came back the way that, uh, that a cold sore did where it's like, oh no, the belly it's here for the third week because I was stressed out. No, it lives there. All right. Uh, we're going on weird, uh, turns now. So anyway, I'm going to do my thing here and then I come home and I notice the one, I saved one slice of pizza. You know me, I've got an addiction. I saved one little slice of Detroit-style pizza, the good kind, you know what I mean? And, and I freeze to the rest. I was like, I'm going to put it in the freezer. That way I can reward myself. Because, you know you know me, I don't know, raised Catholic. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But um, I was always taught to, like, clear your plate. So as a kid, I was taught to hoard my food, which, of course, we know gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. But clearing your plate off pleases your mom. Good boy, he finishes food. Yeah, I'm chubby in wind pants. It's 1991, mom. What do you need? So, uh, you know, you guys remember wind pant tracksuits? You'd walk around and be, ch, 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 ch. you can't sneak up on anybody. Um, anyway, so I come home expecting one slice of pizza, and here's what I get. You guys watch this. This is as soon as I get home. Okay, I come home, and I had one slice of pizza <laughs> left. T-shirt. And I go, did you cut off part of my slice? And she Look how guilty she looks. She literally goes, huh? <laughs> she la- You ate a... She ate... Yeah, tell that to the camera. Tell that to the... Oh, no. Oh, look, she left the knife in the pizza box, so she wasn't even trying to hide it. Oh, we do this. We'll stuff the food in the dog. How you notice a half inch? You shaved off, off a half inch of my pizza. <laughs> you're not getting any. You're not... No. You're all... Your dad <laughs> comes home from work. He's got one slice of pizza. Everyone's going nuts over it. You don't get that. That's not for you. You can't reach. Short dogs. <laughs> At least I know she can't lie to me. The worst liar ever. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, after I was exposing her here, she just was belly laughing by herself because she knew she got caught. Giant slice of pizza I've been <laughs> imagining every inch of. She goes, oh, I didn't he won't notice. The dog. Tomorrow. It wasn't born yesterday. None for you. I got both of them following me around. <laughs> Just take a bite. See, I'll share. Don't give the dog a bite. You better not. That's so gross. You better not. I'll so gross. <laughs> Why am I sharing this with you guys? <laughs> anyway, it's a slow news day. This is what you get. There he is. He got his. He got his little. I baby birded it. You don't baby bird food for your dog. I wasn't gonna let him bite off the pizza. I'm not a crazy person. So anyway, that's what reality Steve Scott. Was- and then let's see. So here again are the slides for the final four. Uh, we've got Rachel's Avon Jones, the guy from Salem, Mass. Which I don't know if I trust a guy named Avon. It just sounds kind of like participation trophy uh, this is Avon he you know I don't know I could be wrong I mean, he looks good I don't know maybe I've got a you know maybe I'm jealous because I just have basic white guy named Dave I don't have any I'm you know Dino I don't got Dino Franco energy Zach shall cross Zach shall cross boundaries uh with consent uh in the fantasy suite I guess they're not boundaries if okay you get the point Tyler Norris uh, looks like every guy who's, uh, you know, been in a sitcom. <laughs> he looks like he's going to, he looks like he does pharmaceutical sales. I don't know why, but if he wanted to sell me some pharmaceutical equipment, I don't know if I'd be able to say no. I'd be like, look, I didn't know I needed a stethoscope, but his teeth are so white. Um, never trust pharmaceutical sales. Um, so I'll share with you guys the videos he has. We saw this earlier. This is the Salem date with Avon, I'm assuming. They're following. It's a heist. Go, go. go. Okay. And then here they are, schmoochin. Um More reality. See, I made a joke on Reddit. I was, I said, uh, I said uh, the the reason the drought exists uh, right now in the country is because Reality Steve used all the watermarks. Again, it's a water joke. So, production people, production people are the worst. What are they even doing? I was just talking to them. So. Okay, we got that. So, we got this photo. This grainy, you know. Uh, what what is, is a Pruda? What is this Bigfoot style quality? All right, here they are. Here's a good one. They're smooching. Yeah, get into it. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa! Which one's this guy? Yo, she's got. She's not only holding him. She's doing the whole like embracing. She's got her hands on the triceps. He's uh pulling her in with the uh, mid back, not even lower back, the mid back. And she's kind of like, I mean, I don't know. Speaking of baby birds, she looks like she's a the the uh, you know a baby pigeon who's trying to feed. And then he's, 
right? <laughs> what's going on there? She's coming in for it. That's what's weird with kissing, right? It's always sexy till you pause it, and then it's like, you know, so it looks like some Picasso painting. There they are. Gabby's got sex appeal. She's got sex appeal. So there they are. You got uh, the guy singing. Yeah. She's got the little black dress they all talk about. LBD, yeah, you know me. More reality, Steve Watermarks. He's doing the Lord's work. I mean, this is good. This is smart that he's, he's like, you know what? You want to steal my clips? Reality, Steve Watermarks the whole way through. I like it. Go for it. There he is. So um, this, this one's the funniest because this is so residential. There's some lady being like, Jonathan, quit taking videos of the neighbors. Honey, they're making out in the front lawn. I'm doing what I'm... You know, well, why don't you mow the lawn? I'll get to it after they quit. You know, whatever. I just had to restrict what I was going to say because it's a family show. All right, so there they are. By the way, white pants, right? White, isn't white pants... Uh, it's before labor. How does that work out? I mean, I guess it, I guess if it's gonna air in the summer, is it is it you can only wear white pants in the moment, or if if like I you know if it's gonna air in July, I guess white pants are apropos. Um, I'm guessing this is her. I don't even know. It's so far away. Is this Gabby? Who is this? We're really uh, grasping at paper straws here. Uh, but either way, white pants. Um, white pants. Uh, it's a it's a power move. You don't wear your white pants when you're breaking up with someone. I'll tell you that much. Um, so more, they, Steve, quit videotaping the neighbors. <laughs> Deborah, <laughs> I'll do it. I damn please. <laughs> but Steve, you need to, you need to mulch the back lawn. You haven't mulched my lawn in three years. Uh, I don't know. It's a metaphor. All right. So there they are. We got that. Okay. Uh, so we got the circumstantial evidence that points to her having one with Justin Budfilowski. All right. Anyway, you got enough. You got enough. Did you guys get enough? Are you not impressed? Are you not impressed with the barrel scraping that's being done today? We are scraping the barrel. As you guys know, I've spoken a lot about barrel scraping, Dave. He's really, um, he's really a mood that has been around. You know, a lot of people just don't know this about me since 1823. Old Jebediah, great grandfather, has been scraping that barrel, and you know, I, I, I just, I'm just picking up the family. Uh, just picking up the family industry. That's all I'm doing over there. If you want to go check out my Instagram at dneils, I got my other content there. Uh, my happy birthday post. I appreciate all the birthday love. Oh, check this out. I got this, by the way. This is incredible. I got this from Susan. Check this out. Oh my gosh. This was a this was kind of like an art piece mural. Look at this. An art piece mural that's got my name and all these other things. Vlogmas, raised Catholic. Even she even put Colton in there, tracking that one. Bachelorette, recapper, I digress. Got a lot of good stuff in there, so this will be going in the uh, on, in the barn hall of fame um, as we increase our world domination here in our tiny niche of uh, power recapping. All right, folks, that's what we've got. I've got a stand-up show May twelfth. Please, if you live anywhere near the LA area, come out to the show. I'll be doing a half hour. Uh, you know, in LA, you get all these five six minute spots, all these like feature showcase spots, but this will be a nice longer set. You can come out, laugh. Uh, tickets are cheap. Uh, let me know if you want to come and uh, more content coming your way. Dave Neal show is up next. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye everybody.